Congratulations on another fantastic festival. Uh, here for Matilda. What, uh, what was the reasoning behind you guys wanting to have Matilda as you as you start in your opening? So many reasons to open with Matilda. I mean, it's a musical. It's a family film. We haven't opened with either of those in my t in the, at least a decade. And it really, um, we want to communicate to audiences that the festival is for everyone. And what better way to do that than with a, an adaptation of a musical that more than 10 million people have seen? Songs that almost everyone in the UK, possibly globally, can sing a little bit of something from Matilda. I know I can sing all of the Matilda songs. So, uh, but Matilda's also a great female character. I mean, she really is resilient and smart and strong, and she fights back against bullies. And that feels still feels really relevant. You guys have had to kind of bounce back from the pandemic and had to kind of change how you've done things. Last year was kind of a test bed, I guess. This year you managed to do it even more so. How proud are you that you managed to do it? in the way that you guys have done it. Doesn't? Well, definitely. I mean, in 2019, before the pandemic, we set out a strategy that included expanding the UK wide. The pandemic gave us opportunities to experiment in ways that we hadn't imagined being able to do that, but it really turbocharged those plans and we really shifted the makeup. So we are the London Film Festival, but we're accessible to um, film fans all around the UK and that is really important. We've got a fantastic lineup this year. There's obviously some films that, that didn't get in that people have been desperate to see from Toronto and Venice. How, how, does, that, how does that process work for, for you guys in terms of picking and choosing which ones you put in and what you don't? Well, it's a complex process. I mean, and I'd say also that some people assume things didn't get in and it might be other reasons. So I'm not naming any, you know, I'm not corroborate, corroborating any stories here, but it's, we watch around 2,000 films, shorts and features, and um, it is a long process of trying to um, hone down a program that feels like there's something for every kind of film fan that represents lots of different perspectives that has global diversity, that represents the many forms of cinema from artists moving image to documentaries to fiction films to musicals. Um, and that process takes a long time. Yeah. And in terms of yourself, obviously you're departing very, very soon. Is that something that you've been thinking of for a while or is it is something that's just come up and you know, yeah. you're going to, be going to do something else very exciting. Well, I took, when I took the job, I always thought of this as a five-year role. So this is my fifth year. Um, and I think I wouldn't be leaving if I didn't feel like we'd really moved the dial on some of the things that we set out and said we were going to do in 2018, 19, that we've really done those. Pandemic's been frankly knackering. I'm ready to be on the other side of the stage now and watching the films. And I also have an incredible team. I don't think anyone should stay in these cultural jobs for forever. That we, a festival should be a lab of ideas. It should be a place for new people, new voices, represent cultural moments. So I think that kind of change is really good for me and the festival. And just finally, I mean, if we don't talk to you on the closing night, you've got a hell of a film to, to close the festival on. Uh, there seems to be this huge excitement for this Knives Out franchise. Daniel Craig's gone from Bond to Bernard Blanc. Uh, how excited were you guys to, to close with that particular film? Well, we actually had the European premiere of Knives Out and we programmed it. You know, we love Ryan Johnson's films, but we programmed it before anyone knew anything about Knives Out. And I, I remember seeing it thinking, this is going to be huge because it really, I mean, it's such smart, a smart, cine literate film, but it really delivers as great entertainment as well too and he's done this exact same thing with his new film i mean it's in a whole new mystery the only thing that links to well two things link together knives out in this new one one is daniel craig and the other is the brilliance of ryan johnson who's made a totally original story um, and it's it's pretty it's it's going to bring down the house on closing night I think. that's the one i'm really looking forward to so fingers crossed thank you so much for your time as ever thank you pleasure thank you. ladies and gentlemen you're watching hey you guys Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice.